It makes you feel fantastic. Hi guys, Happy Conscious Girl here. This question is one I get asked all the time. My man keeps eating tempting food around me all the time in the house. Yes, men do that. Men eat potato chips, donuts, pasta, bread in front of you while you're doing phase 2 HCG. That's just what they do. They can't help it. So I had to live with this during my round. As I told you guys, I did a 61 day round in my first round. It's a long time on P2. And my partner has no weight problem and he likes occasionally to have a cookie and to have some chips when he has fish and chips and he ate them in front of me. And you know what? I was fine with it. And do you want to know my secret? Why I didn't get mad at him? I didn't tell him to stop eating in front of me. I didn't ruin our relationship by screaming at him all the time. I didn't walk around resentful and angry all the time that he was eating tempting food in front of me. Do you know why I didn't? Because I asked myself this question. Do I want to live with a happy man or do I want to live with a miserable man? It's a really useful question to ask yourself. Because think about it. He's not trying to tell you how to live your life. He's not telling you to get off P2. Stop eating that piece of spinach. I want you to start eating donuts. He's not telling you how to eat. So why are you wanting to tell him how to eat? You're doing what you need to keep you happy. You're sticking to your diet. You're losing all this weight. You're getting really, really slim. You're feeling fantastic and confident about yourself. That's what makes you happy. What makes him happy is living his life eating what he wants to eat without being controlled by his girlfriend or wife. That's what makes men happy. They don't like to be controlled. They like to be free. So I ask myself, do I want to live with a miserable man or a happy man? A miserable man is not much fun to live with. They're grumbly and mumbly and really not very fun. Happy man, on the other hand, happy man, happy man is supportive of me when I'm doing HCG. Happy man goes and buys me my white fish for P2 and buys me my asparagus and my spinach because happy man loves to help me. In fact, happy man's so happy, he starts to think, well, maybe I'll cook my own food for a few weeks and I won't even bother her with my meals. That's a thing. When you're letting a man be himself and eat how he wants and be his happy self, he's much more cooperative. He's likely to go and get his own takeout food or make his own separate meals from you. Or if he really can't cook, he'll probably even be happy to eat some of your P2 food occasionally so he doesn't have to cook, but he won't grumble and mumble because he knows he can go and have cookies afterwards. So I just want to give you this tip. Let go of your anger. Stop being resentful. Stop being annoyed if your partner is eating stuff around you that's tempting. He's allowed to, and you're allowed to do HCG. And you know what? You could take this even further. If you're really committed to living with a happy man, do you know what you could do? You could actually cook his food for him. Tempting food, rich food, not P2 food, food you can't eat. You might cook it for him as an act of love. And while you're cooking this rich food that you can't eat, you could be pouring all of your love for him into that food. It makes you feel more fantastic than if you were eating the food because by the end of cooking you're feeling so joyful, so full of love, so happy. You get so many kisses and cuddles from your man. Your relationship is so good. It's totally worth it. So that's my little tip for today. How to survive when your man is eating tempting food around you. If you find you get to the point where you're totally comfortable with him eating tempting food around you, you're not feeling resentful, you're not nagging him, you're not trying to control him, you live and let live, you may still find that smelling that food is a bit tempting for you. But I'll just tell you, I do cover this exact topic in my third HCG book, which is called Rock the Protocol. <laughs> and I cover all these kinds of situations. What to do when people are eating food around you. What to do when you smell tempting food. How do you resist? There are lots of tricks to get around that, which I learned during my many rounds of HCG. So go and check that book out on Amazon. It's got all the answers in there for you. Anyway, until I see you again. Bye.